Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy, and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, I will be setting up and decorating my wellness planner for the week of October the 2nd. All right, you guys, so yes, we are back in my wellness planner. The last plan with me I did for wellness, I had showed you how to kind of incorporate this into a filler page, so that way in case you don't have a planner, you can kind of, you know, use the same type of concepts that I use into an actual, like a blank filler page. Like I use Happy Planner, but obviously any type of filler paper would, would work. Um, if you have not seen that video and are interested in checking it out, I will have that linked down in the description box. But yes, so we are back in my wellness planner and we are pretty much going to set this up pretty similar to how I have been setting this up. And because we are officially in fall and the weather here has actually cooled down a little bit. I don't know if it's a short lived <laughs> um, temperature change or if this is how it's going to be. I'm not complaining. I love the cooler weather. I like, you know, fall cool, not winter cool. All right, so for decorating, I am going to bring on the fall and I am going to use this adorable sticker set from Live Love Posh. I'm gonna use probably the paper sticker, so I'm gonna use this, this. There's so many, there's trees. This is such a huge sticker set. This came from the Chic Fall sticker book from Live Love Posh. I believe that this is now back in stock. I will have it linked down in the description box. And as always, you can use my dis my discount code AGWP10 to save 10%. And I know this, bo this box, this book has been going in and out of stock because it's been so popular. So um, definitely check it out to see if it's available. And I think this is one of the books. This is a deluxe sticker book. So there are 60 pages. Like check out how thick this book is. This will last for an entire like year, two years, maybe even three years, um, depending on how much you use stickers. All right. So let's see, how am I going to do this? Hmm. So I can pretty much decorate this side of the page pretty heavily. Um, I do do my prompts here, but I've realized I really don't need as much room. But we'll see. I might not do the big trees. I was thinking about using like this sticker, but that might take away too much of my space. Because I still think I want five spaces for writing prompts. Of course, in some of my other plan with me's, I was showing you how... I like change up the section by just putting boxes over it and just kind of organizing them however I want to. So that's always an option. I kind of want to, let's do this. Y'all, I have not been very well. I've not been doing very good. Um, yeah, my talking is pretty bad right now. <laughs> um, I have not been doing very good with filling out this planner. Um, I really need to. I don't have any excuses. I think I have said that time and time again. <laughs> There's no reason why I have not been filling out this planner. I just haven't been filling it out. It's pretty sad. Um, I really need to. I find, you know, the thing is sometimes I can like, when I, when it comes time to fill it out, I can fill it out like if today was Wednesday and I hadn't filled it out, I can probably go back and fill out Monday and Tuesday as well. Um, sometimes when I do that, I when I do my energy levels, I might not write all three of them down. Is this taking up more space than I need to? We'll just cover up the mood for Saturday. I can just hand write that. Right now, the sticker is more important. <laughs> um, yeah, because like if you do have a planner and you do want to capture your mood, just write how you're feeling in one word, a sentence, or whatever. It always works. Of course, I do have washi too. Washi would have been good as a border, but that I mean, it's a something at the bottom, but that's perfectly fine. Let me go ahead and well, am I gonna do? Yeah, because I don't have the page straight. It's like coming off. Let me go ahead and cut this. And my other confession is not only have I not been in this planner, but because I have not been in this planner, I, um, I haven't even decorated for like the past few weeks. So yeah, that's pretty bad too, but whatever. 
I can put her here to cover up this circle. So today, okay, for this week, uh, you know, if I kind of remember, I usually say it says nurture a relationship, call a friend, meet up with a family member. It's a very good sentiment, sentiment, and it's probably something that I need to follow, but I want to cover it up and put a sticker over it <laughs> because it's pretty. All right. I don't need the year, right? Because of how this sticker is like that, I'm going to put this here. I know what year it is. I can always flip it over to the next week to see what year it is if I'm really struggling, which I hope I won't be, but you know, you never know. And I don't know how I'm actually going to set this up this week as far as, um, I kind of just want to put these everywhere. I don't want to just put these in the, sometimes I throw things down the middle, but I kind of want to kind of have it like fallen leaves type thing. Um, I use a lot of boxes and bullet points. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to use boxes today. Like I said, because I haven't been as good filling it out, I hate to waste boxes. So we'll see. I'll do this one. Me, um, do I want, so I have this washi. That's why she doesn't cover up the box completely. However, because of the background, it doesn't look bad as long as I center it. You'll still see some of the gratitude, like the word gratitude at the bottom, but that's okay. I don't hate it, guys. I don't hate it. Hesitant to say that I love it yet, but I don't hate it. <laughs> I need to clean off this ruler and my hair is like sticking to it. All right. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do, or I can just do this. Let's just do that. Okay. This is cute. I always say that when I'm decorating my planner, I only have like a few stickers on the page and I'm like, I like it. I like it already. I don't really need to do much more. I really don't need to do much more. So let's see. Do we want to keep it outside? I think we want to keep it outside. So maybe we'll do this one. This is like a little farm, like a little barn with some pumpkins and some stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I don't need all these bullet points. I really only need like three. So we'll just do that. I don't really know. What else I need here? I think we might get ready to start setting this up. So what I could do is I could do this again. I like doing this. So I could do this again. Obviously I'm doing this, so it's not, I could, apparently this is what I'm doing. <laughs> That one does not look straight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'm not going to put you through this torture. And then we'll be back once I have finished laying down the washi. All right, the washi is down. So I was looking. I'm going to need something there at some point. Probably a quote. Um, but let me grab the stickers that I've made for the headers. Here they are. So I'm going to just go back to this just for simplicity reasons. And like I said, prior plan with me, I've been trying different things. So I've been just using header boxes and handwriting them in. But I think I'm just going to go this because I want this to be pretty quick. So I'm just going to put symptoms here. Probably bring this down a little bit. It's not centered, but it helps cover some of the word that I saw. All right. And because these are all different lengths, I just put this all the way to the right. All right, so that's energy trends, stress and anxiety. I don't want to cover up all of the 
washi. So that's why I'm kind of putting it a little bit lower. Weekly mood. Sleep patterns. And then finally, weekly eating habits. So I just made these headers straight in my Cricut Design Space. And that's why they have a pretty thick border, but I don't mind. Um, I could probably lower that border, make the border a little bit smaller the next time. Um, all right, so now when I do, oh, I like fall is my favorite color. I'm going to have to white out this. But I don't know if I want to use my white out strips because I my thing is is sometimes it's so bright that you can see through it. Like you can see through the things. So I'm gonna try to just use this pen. This isn't my best one. This isn't my um Uniball Signa. This was just the one that was right here. This is just a pigment ink that I got from Amazon. However, the Uniball Signos are pretty much, I mean, they're around the same price. So I would probably suggest going for that one if you can, because I don't think these were much cheaper. And I do like that one a little bit better. Let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I found it. Okay. It just comes out smoother and heavier. <laughs> so of course, this one might be better if you want to write because this one comes out pretty thick. So this is really good for whiting out. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. I can put favorite right there over it. Okay. Fall is my favorite color. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So what, how are we going to do this guys? I definitely need some stuff at the top. It's looking kind of bare with everything at the bottom and the top. I mean, at the bottom and not at the top. And I closed my book like I was done. Y'all, you, you guys know better. You know that I'm like never done. I have this. I'm gonna just put this here. I might put the washi tape there to kind of cover this week. I'm, I don't even feel, I never fill that out. Let's see if there's any other like small things that I might be able to add. I don't think so. There's some trees. There's some clear leaves. There was some more leaves. So maybe we'll just add these. I think that looks good with the little one there. And then we have two more. I can get this one because I don't want to take the page out. Okay. So we can put this one here. And maybe this one here. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. This one isn't going to be much more stickered up. I think we're pretty much set. I just have to figure out how I'm doing this. If I'm doing like stickers or bullet points or how I'm doing it this week, or if I'm just going to like go rogue and just let it be, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if I want to put the washi over this over the decor. I can come down a little bit. I do like this. Okay. I'm going to have to white out 
this. Okay. <clears throat> now I've changed my mind and I think I want washi right here. Just gonna barely tuck it under. Just feel like there's a lot of washi on this page. Not as much on this page. All right, so let's see if we can peel this up. I thought I hadn't trimmed this yet. It's a little bit easier to peel up because it was hanging off the page. All right. And then it makes me feel like I need washi right here, but then it messes up the five. I can go around the five. I don't need the five. The five is kind of pointless. But I feel like when there's like one, two, three, four, it makes it look like I need the five. So we can just do like that. Now I think we're done with the washi. Are we? <laughs> do I just want to go a little crazy with the washi? I kind of do. I kind of want to box that in. I've never done that before, but I kind of want to today. All right. That washi is gorgeous. I think this came from Planner Kate. Um, I think it was in her clearance section, so I'm not sure of its availability. I will try to link it down below if it is still available, um, if it came from there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so, just based on the quality. All right, so now is what I need to start figuring out is what I'm gonna do. Do these fit? They do, as long as I line them up correctly. Okay. Cute. And the only thing I was thinking I think I have enough bullet points. So let's actually do bullet points for my energy levels because why not? And then I hope I have some leftover for there. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put these down because again, this is not this is something that is not super exciting. So I will come back when I am finished. All right, so I have done all the bullet points. I love the size of these bullet points. I am gonna change some of these leaves. I want this leaf to be more in the center because I wanna move this over here to cover the bullet points. <laughs> and I didn't really like <laughs> all the leaves there. I thought it was like a little bit too much. There we go. All I have to do is punch. This is so pretty. I absolutely love this. All right, so I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers punch. Um, I will have this link down below from Amazon. I absolutely love it. It is pretty much the perfect size for the Happy Planner punch. Um, and yeah, I do not decorate my monthly. I don't even use my monthly for my wellness just because I have so many monthlies. Um, I just, I had tried to use it in the past 
for different reasons, but I just couldn't keep up with it. Um, the only thing I could maybe think of is if something here became too much to track, I can put it there, but that hasn't really been working. All right, let's throw this on the disc because finally my disc match the autumn colors. <laughs> so it would look really pretty on my disc. Of course, my wellness section is toward the back of my planner. So it always looks uneven. So let me pull out the sticker book and put it under it to make it like prop up a little bit. Again, chic fall. I will have that link down below. I mean, you can see this is an absolutely gorgeous sticker book. Um, yes, I loved everything about this. This might be one of my favorite spreads. And this is not the easiest layout to decorate. But I absolutely loved how it turned out. And in all honesty, there are not too many stickers. I really didn't use very many stickers over here. So I have plenty of functional space. I was forced to put the bullets, my, my bullet points down here because of that. And I'm kind of glad because now that I think about it, I think I might move, like when I use boxes or bullet points here for my energy levels, I think I might move them down to the bottom because I generally start writing at the top when I have to write any kind of notes about how I'm feeling for the day. So I don't always make it down to the bottom if I don't have a lot to write. So it does give me more writing space where I will be likely writing versus down here where I might not have as much to write. So I think I'm gonna kind of, I'm, I'm kind of glad I was forced to move it down to the bottom because I think that might work a little bit better for functionality. The only thing I'm seeing here is this. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you are not already subscribed, I really appreciate it. If you would consider subscribing to my channel, I try to... I Oops. Apparently... Siri doesn't know, but I think you should. <laughs> yeah, I try to do different types of plan with me's. I don't always do plan with me's. I do have some exciting, which I think is exciting videos coming up in a few weeks because I will be on vacation. So during that time, I have videos scheduled that I would kind of go over all the different types of tools I am using for wellness planning. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I'm also going to do a deep dive into the fitness planners I've used in the past. So yeah, I have some exciting stuff coming up on my channel. So so definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I do want to give a big thank you to everyone that is a returning viewer and a returning subscriber. I really, really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, <laughs> that is all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.